Vesper to predict body angles about each atom of carbon, nitrogen and oxygen in these molecules. So in order for us to do that, the first thing that we have to notice is that our nitrogen and oxygens here, they don't have lone pairs. Actually, no lone pairs are shown anywhere on these molecules. So we have to fill in missing lone pairs. Why do we have to fill it in? We need to know that carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, they want to have an octet. So if we don't see them having eight electrons, that's what octet is. They want Each one wants to have eight electrons. If they don't have it, that means that uh, lone pairs of electrons were not shown. So let's take a look at this nitrogen, for example. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has only six electrons, but it needs to have eight. That means it must have a lone pair of electrons here. Now here, this oxygen has one, two, three, four. So it wants to have five, six, seven, eight. Now it's happy. And this oxygen has one, two. This bond is not shown, but there is a bond here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that our lone pairs are filled in, and you can check and you can see that carbons are happy because for example, this carbon has four bonds, four times two is eight. So if you check every carbon, it will have an octet, so it is fine. And we are ready to get started with predicting the bond angles. In order for us to predict the bond angles, we have to use this chart. And this chart basically tells us what kind of bond angle will be depending on what the central atom is attached to. So for example, if my central atom is attached to two atoms only, then the molecular geometry or shape is called linear, but more importantly, the bond angle is 180. If my atom is attached to three other atoms and it has no lone pairs, the angle will be 120. If my atom is attached to four other atoms and it has no lone pairs, then the angle will be 109.5, then and so on you can see you can see all for example if the central atom is attached to two other atoms and one lone pair then the angle will be slightly less than 120 and you can see similar conditions here so let's go ahead and get started because we need to take care of, of each carbon nitrogen and oxygen so this carbon if you want what we could do first is we could draw this molecule out so ch3 means that this carbon is connected to three hydrogens, then it has another carbon that's connected to a hydrogen double bond, and then this carbon is connected to two hydrogens, like that, so we have drawn all the bonds. Now we look at this carbon, it, it's connected to one, two, three, four atoms. This carbon is connected to four atoms, so this atom is connected to four atoms, no lone pairs, it's tetrahedral, so the angle here should be 109.5. Let's look at this atom. This carbon is connected. One, two, three. Double bond. We don't care whether the connection is through a single, double, or triple bond. All we care is how many atoms is it connected to and how many lone pairs does it have. So this one has one, two, and three. So when we're connected to three atoms, it's going to be 120. And what about this one? Same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 120 degrees as well. So this one. Now this carbon, same thing as before. It's connected. If you draw it out, it's connected to four different atoms, three hydrogens and a nitrogen. So it's 109.5. And same thing, they're all CH3 is connected, so this is, should be 109.5, and this should be 109.5 as well. Now let's take a look at this nitrogen. It's connected to one carbon, two carbons, three is connected to three carbons, and it has one lone pair. Where is that? It's here. When an atom is connected to three other atoms and one lone pair, its shape would be trigonal pyramidal, the angle would be slightly less than 109.5. And let's go to part C now. Again, we see CH3 here. And again, you can draw it out just to make sure, but it will be connected to three hydrogens and a carbon. So the angle would be 109.5. 
and then we have CH2 here. I'm just going to redraw it to show it better. So CH2 means that this carbon is connected to two hydrogens and another carbon. So again, this carbon is connected to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, and carbon. It has four different atoms that it is connected to. So it's tetrahedral and the angle again is 109.5. And let's take a look at this carbon. It's connected to oxygen, another oxygen, and a carbon. So it's connected to three atoms only. Therefore, it must be this case here, which is 120 degree angle. Let's take a look at this oxygen. It's connected to a carbon, a hydrogen, and it has two lone pairs. Whereas that, it's here. So if my atom is connected to two atoms, and it has two lone pairs, this atom is connected to two atoms, two lone pairs. The shape is bent and the angle should be less than 109.